loves i hope that all of you are doing amazing now let's start this reading and we're going to take a look at the energy for divine masculine and divine feminine uh, for twin flame or soulmate journey or divine counterpart journey and see what's happening as you guys know um, we are about to experience a really powerful spiritual portal on 777 which is on july 7 2023 now how these energies are going to be affecting your uh, relationship or your connection is that i feel that on the divine feminines and you're going to be feeling more powerful there's that empowerment energy now if you have been feeling stuck and um, i see that for some of you there has been heavy energies perhaps um, you know there has been a lot going on in 3d i feel that um, some of you you have been coming to me and saying that you know your divine masculine is still going through those karmic patterns or uh, perhaps they're still with a karmic partner and nothing has changed really on a 3d level so i feel like for some of you you could have been feeling a uh, disappointment or feeling that um perhaps uh, n n there's not like nothing is ever going to happen in your relationship now you know what spirit is saying here is that this is going to be a time where you have to take your focus out of uh, whatever is happening on the 3d life for the divine masculine and focus on yourself and in your own journey in your spiritual path now i know that this is something that you guys have been doing for a really long time but spirit is saying that keep going okay don't focus on the things that you don't want because you are you are going to manifest that this is the law of the universe what you don't want and what you are going to focus on is going to manifest so don't focus on the things that you don't want within this relationship and instead say affirmations that you want to manifest now i feel that um, for the masculine energy yes it has been heavy yes you know we cannot deny the fact that the masculine energies have been still going on through those karmic patterns or situations or even you know still being with a karmic partner now um, I know that uh, you know that can cause a lot of disappointment within the relationship because the divine on the divine feminines and she's basically ready she has been ready for quite a while uh, but uh, you might be asking spirit like okay what do I need to do at this time you know what is going on now spirit answer to that is that there is going to be spiritual uh, portals opening up including the July 7 one and also another powerful one on July 16 17 which is going to be around the new moon in cancer now that one is going to bring a lot of grand unions or grand reunion for divine counterparts and the reason for that is there's going to be seven parts of the world which the spirit is going to um, i'm sure that it's going to be uh, mentioned in this reading of which these locations are but remember that these are the major ones right so even with 144,000 light workers, there is even more, you know, light workers in the world. However, we are talking about the major. Okay, so there are going to be seven major parts of the world, or the countries, or locations that uh, light workers or twin flames or soulmate are going to be located with each other physically in order to elevate the energies on that location now as you guys know the energies are really low vibrational at this time there's so much going on in the world and um, this is going to be um, basically the job of twin flames or the light workers now um, let's just start this reading and we're going to see what's going on uh, they're talking about the grand union or reunion around the new moon in cancer which we are going to have another reading about it but this is going to be about the portal that's opening up for all of the light workers on july 7 so this is going to be the energy of 777 so triple seven and the energy of the seven is all about completion and and the path that you are going to take this is going to be about the spiritual path along with your partner okay so let's move i got this connected now let's just um focus the camera on the table and we're going to see what's going on between the masculine and feminine okay um i think that um i'm gonna use this tarot deck which is very much energetically and we're gonna see what's going on and don't worry we're also gonna use oracle cards if we need to and see what is happening for the portal of 777 
let's see okay we have the hierophant and uh, this is number five this is on the masculine's end so there's tortoise energy coming and we have the ace of cups oh my goodness this is beautiful and i feel that this is the love offer that's coming towards the divine feminine and i feel like this is the energy of the union the love is flowing and there is that sense of freedom that's happening we also have the queen of swords on the feminine's end so uh libra taurus energy again sorry libra gemini aquarius energy coming okay so don't focus too much on the signs because this is a general reading we also have the six of pentacles on the divine feminines and and the four of pentacles on her end again and the five of pentacles on the masculines and okay and okay what else is happening guys we have the princess of pentacles on her end we have the king of pentacles and the two of swords on her end this is on the masculine's end there's earth signs um, emphasize on the earth signs virgo capricorn or taurus which taurus was emphasized there okay what else we also have the queen of pentacles wow the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles so some of you you could have strongly earth in your chart and uh, what else is going on wow a lot of cards came out and we are going to take them what do we have here oh my goodness we have the chariot and we have number seven as the energy of the union so wow quite powerful for the seven seven portal energies we also have number eight and this is on the feminines and leo energy coming along very strongly and um, we also have seven of swords wow and eight of swords we also have the hermit on the masculines and so there's virgo energy coming and uh, we also have the ten of swords on their end okay so all of these are actually on the masculines and which i feel like is going to actually balance out the uh the cards that we got perfectly here okay let's see what exactly is going on and remember that this is going to be energetically a little bit but whatever uh, messages that comes in from spirit i'm just going to welcome that okay guys so um just give me a second here okay now um remember when i told you guys that you are going to be seeing a lot of number seven uh the number seven energy is just very very i feel like it's quite dominant because um we have the seven of swords here we have this number seven the chariot and i believe that we had another seven if i'm not mistaken here um maybe not but i'm sure that we are going to get that so in any case right now we have two number seven here what the spirit is saying here for the divine masculine energy first of all we have this stag a white stag as as their spirit animal now what is happening here is for a lot of divine masculine energies i'm seeing that um something has not been working for them in terms of their emotional life in terms of um something that they've been uh, thinking that was real but it was an illusion it could have been a relationship that they've been chasing in the past or it could be a karmic partner that they thought wow this person is my you know is the one for me but actually that was not the case so i feel like the divine masculine energy right now is trying to listen to their intuition as opposed to what the mind is saying because whenever they listen to mind which is represented by these stores they are realizing that um it's almost like they cannot see themselves it's like this um reflection is getting distorted because of the mind and what they're realizing is that oh my goodness i cannot even see who i am or what is going on it's all because of the mind okay 
um, and remember that of course not, mind is not like 100% a bad thing of course you know you need that for uh, in your journey but what they are realizing is that they've been letting it to control them uh, by either listening to the mind about like the relationship that they had or maybe uh, for some of them about a karmic situation in any case divine masculines are really really listening right now to their intuition with this moon energy that's in the top of the you know this white stag it's almost like you know he's saying that okay I'm willing to listen you know and this is a big step for the divine masculine because perhaps in the past they weren't even willing to listen to their intuition why you might be asking because I feel like for some of them they have been focusing too much on the material world perhaps and yes I mean I feel like it has brought them abundance if they have been facing like um, financial difficulties but it's just not emotionally fulfilling them okay however this um, focusing on the material world it has been helping them to find a stability and also um, getting in touch with their roots and um, what is that is I feel like a lot of them are understanding the connection that they have with you along with everything else here on earth it's almost like they're realizing that there is a greater force connecting you and them uh, together now all of that also could have happened because they've been striken by so many challenges in their life and also I feel like everywhere that they've been trying to basically move there has been a striking there has been a thunder thunderstruck like they've been struck like 10 times but all of that has been happening for their heart chakra to open up look at that this is so beautiful now there is this native american man like in the middle and there is like you know this um a uh, thunder strike on, on his body but if you guys see and he's not dying you know he's just his heart chakra is opening up and there's a rainbow in the background meaning that there's a blessing in all of these challenges that he has been facing so far so I feel like the divine masculine right now uh, can see everything from a higher perspective okay they have been going through those challenges they are like that eagle eagle could be their spirit animal or there's also a white stag that's being showed up for some of them it could also be a bear I, I see that as well um, with the hierophant but if you guys take a look at the hierophant card it's very interesting because um, he's not only in touch with the earth but he's also in touch with the stars and what it means is that spirit is saying that having the material um, stuff is not only going to make him happy so he needs to also reconnect with his higher self with the stars with his you know uh, perhaps a star an uh, ancestors or you know star family because for some of you guys it could be that you guys are star seeds that you are watching this now I feel like yes uh, the divine masculine has been going through financial difficulty there's no doubt there's the wolf there's like a you know some people say that this person is like a lone wolf and they didn't want it to like let's say come out or you know they've just been maybe hanging out with like really really few people in their circle because they've just been facing a lot of financial difficulties and they've been very embarrassed they just wanted to focus on that and they successfully got it i feel like they got it right now a lot of them they are beyond this um uh, challenges uh, a lot of them I feel like they can see everything from a higher perspective right now with the ego and also about you about the relationship they can see it um, and you might be asking again why you know how this all of this happening because they also have been doing a lot of soul searching with the hermit with the number nine there's an owl they have gained a lot of wisdom I feel like the divine masculine has been pushed by spirit to go within uh, on top of like getting uh, a hold of their financial finances because um, yes some of them they have been facing uh, financial difficulties and that could have been one of the reasons that they just didn't want to uh, come forward towards this relationship now um, so as i said the energy of there is a couple of uh 
uh, zodiac signs that are being mentioned here but don't focus too much on them there's um, Virgo there's earth signs there is um, it could also be Capricorn and Taurus is being um, emphasized here okay now uh, what is going on on the divine feminines and is that I feel like she is just um, have been going through a huge transformation in her life you know with the queen of swords uh, and big butterfly in her chest saying that she has been um, you know she's in contact with her higher self you know there's no way that anyone can fold the divine feminine anymore she has seen it all okay she has been going through all of these transformations in her life look at all of these butterflies around her and there's a crystal in her hand and the sword meaning that what she is wanting at this time to happen is the truth you know she wants the truth she's demanding it she's not looking for you know something temporary she's saying that this is me this is who i am and um you know i'm not going to compromise okay so the queen of swords is not going to compromise she knows her word she knows her value and um you know like no one can really lie to her she can see through okay she's also very much in touch with her you know higher self as well um she has gained a lot of wisdom and to me this looks like a phoenix as well so i feel like you know she has been arisen from the ashes very very powerfully okay just a second It's very interesting that, you know, we have also a lot of reference to previous lifetimes as well, but I'm not going to emphasize too much on it. However, there's something very, very important that Spirit is showing here, which I feel like it's really worth mentioning, is talking about the uh, prophecy of the white buffalo. In Native America, this is a prophecy about like when the earth is in trouble, there's going to be um, like spirit is going to send and it's, this is the white buffalo woman. And um, what they are saying is that this is a prophecy that when, you know, spirit sends the white buffalo, meaning that um, like, you know, this is going to be the savior, like, you know, people are going to be saved, like the earth is going to be saved. And this is exactly what's going to happen when everything is going to be like the earth is going to be in trouble. So I feel like this is the sacred feminine that's being showed up. And um, what they're saying is that she is about to um, step into her mission with her divine masculine. And um, before doing that, I feel like she's already in, in her own mission. Like she's already uh, have taken a lot of responsibility right now here on earth with that prophecy that's, you know, coming into reality. She has been, you know, more than strong i feel like she has been very very strong with number eight you know they're talking about like she has been able to tame the beast you know tame the temptations everything i feel like she has gained a lot of self-mastery um there is a year of snake but they're also talking about like she's you know functioning from her heart chakra okay and there's also infinity meaning that she is on the on the path to her uh, divine counterpart journey she has been very strong and look at her i mean she's not even like touching the lion but the lion is standing right by her side so i feel like um and of course leo energy is coming along but you know what they're saying is that she has been keeping you know very very strong but right now it could be that the divine feminine is facing with a decision and this is going to be a very important decision because so far i feel like what she is saying is that you know she's living in abundance with the queen of pentacles she has you know also gained the stability again with the princess of pentacles so i feel like she is having all the abundances abundance that she wants in her life like she's feeling like fulfilled um but um and there's calmness you know there's peace in her life but there's something that she wants to know is that perhaps what is it that she needs to do about this connection uh because there is this beautiful swan here for the four of pentacles now the four of pentacles you know in this card is very much referring to emotional fulfillment it's also talking about her she has been going through transformation and now enjoying a tranquility a time of peace a time of just enjoying the sunshine you know 
uh, like enjoying the sun look at that this is so beautiful i feel like she is just about to enter one of the most like peaceful time of her life with so much abundance i mean it's almost like she is just um there's a little swan if you guys notice there's you know there's another swan here as well referring to that that twin fame or soulmate um relationship that she wants is very very close and it's happening um there's also a stag and a deer here which is talking about the union between the divine masculine and feminine happening now i feel like her focus on the material things has been quite in a different way it's almost like she has been um connecting to animals connecting to the air so like basically connecting with um uh, also connecting with her roots but maybe in a different way because if you guys take a look there is um queen of pentacles and king of pentacles here so i mean both of them are referring to earth and uh, the connection to earth he has two uh, bear here and um and this is beautiful because what they are saying here is that i feel like both of them are meant to bring riches into their lives and into the life of um other people and also on the earth i mean with the masculine energy you know he's also like touching you know this tree which is holding the air it's meaning that there is a mission there's something very very important that he's about to do with the divine ma feminine so both of them are each other's counterpart the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles are each other's um equal um so they're equally capable of um taking on the mission um and um it's very interesting because with the princess of uh, pentacle they're also referring to her connection to the earth very very strongly like you know like i feel like she has the help of the spirit animals in her journey as well now um just a second guys okay so the energy of the union they're saying that there is this um love there is this like a uh, kind of like a you know they're talking about the portal which is the 777 which is also very interesting because we are in the year of chariot <clears throat> as i mentioned this to you guys this is the masculine and feminine energy coming together by the speed of light so remember that i don't know if i talked about the quantum unions but what does that mean is that um there's going to be a quick or like a fast movement in the divine counterpart journey because of this mission so you know it could be also something about like traveling because um, for some divine counterparts it could be that uh, the divine masculine needs to travel to where the divine feminine is or vice versa because somewhat somebody needs to be like almost like relocated in order to make this happen and i feel strongly that this could be for a lot of divine masculines that they might be traveling to where the divine feminine is located and uh, we also have the ace of cups i feel like this offer of love is coming uh from the masculine and um and it's almost like these all of these like emotions it's like overflowing with emotions and also with a lot of abundance look at the dove they're saying that this relationship is gonna bring freedom and abundance into the world it's like something it's just like this cup of love is um also if you guys notice there is these colors of the chakra oh my goodness meaning that all the chakras are being activated at this time in order for this union to happen how beautiful is that so i feel like there is definitely this quantum uh movement so this quantum like union that is about to happen okay um i'm gonna get like um perhaps uh some cards for confirmation about that uh from another deck and see what are the energies of the maybe there's something else that spirit wants to emphasize here but how beautiful i mean this is also talking about mastering 
uh, oneself. So I feel like both of them have been learning about self mastery. This is the energy of the feminine, masculine and feminine with the white um, horse and the uh, black one. Quite powerful guys. And it's almost like uh, the energy of the seven is on the masculine, but on both ends actually. But you know, it's like both of them have been doing the self mastery, perhaps in different ways. Okay, and okay, let's see what is that. We have the eight of swords. Yes, I feel like the divine feminine could have been felt like very much trapped, like she doesn't know. I feel like there's that two of swords energy on her end of like I don't know. Maybe I should get myself out of this. Okay, we also have the seven of um, cups. Again, the energy of the seven, which is coming. And um, I feel like it's on the masculine. And there's a lot of Native American energy coming, guys. Oh my goodness. We have the ten of cups. Okay, so, and the rainbow, it's coming. Now, you know, what Spirit is mentioning here is that I feel like on the masculine's end, you know, he is also faced with a decision. He could have been confused, yes, because maybe there has been a lot of... Um, options that were very appealing to him but it's just there's only one like divine counterpart here everything else is just the earthy or the material things okay so i feel like he's also could be like um could have been faced with some kind of a decision and around this um powerful portal i feel like he is about to make that decision to get here with the energy of the seven um i feel like um he already has made the decision because what we are seeing here is the ten of cups like they're saying that these two are going to have their happily ever after and if you guys realize i feel like you know um they might have not been from the same culture or background but it doesn't matter because i feel like they are going to uh, the gap is going to be caused these two are going to come uh, together no matter if they're muslim they're christian or whatever their religion background is there's this happily ever after energy coming which showed up in my uh, instagram reading as well that maybe some of you guys have been watching but look at that this is so beautiful there are two kids also dancing in the background and there's a house so i feel like um for some of you it could be that you might be moving to a new house with them some of you you will have family with this person and your children it could be like crystal children it could be like rainbow children um but i feel like you two ha are going to fulfill uh your mission here and this mission is going to bring don't think that it's going to be all like you know challenging and full of like spiritual lessons the spirit is saying that no it's also going to be full of joy happiness okay so this is so beautiful and for the feminine yes i feel like you guys perhaps felt like in that situation i mean no wonder it's like both have been uh, perhaps feeling like okay i don't know what to do um she could have felt like she cannot get herself out but she can and she will you know she will because the spirit is saying that you are you two are gonna get to this okay you two will get to this okay just give me a second now okay what else they want to say let's just what should i get guys and i think i think i'm going to get some of these cards as well because we didn't have any oracle cards and let's see if there is any confirmation also uh, for us at this time about the union and says um, I connect with the strength and wisdom of my ancestors oh my goodness so remember I told you guys about the ancestor energy so I feel like strongly that um, this is like basically on both ends there's something about 
um, the energy of the ancestors and says I connect with the strength and wisdom of my ancestors for some of you there's that Native American energy coming along with a white buffalo woman and um, also um, the strength card that showed up something about um, connecting with that as well as coming and there are two peacocks again talking about the energy of two like the energy of the union and it says um, I liberate myself from emotions that don't serve me on their end yep oh my god and you guys this is number seven <laughs> you guys can see right it's like 25 and this is number seven so as i said i feel like they will you know the divine masculine is going to free themselves from these um perhaps unwanted emotions that is not serving them anymore you know the feelings of like okay maybe i should be in this relationship because it looks good because there's money you know so i feel like you know they're going to liberate themselves there's that sense of liberation happening and there are you know the four elements here as well that's being showed up and what else it also says i use my emotions to fuel my path how beautiful is that and i feel like it's on on the divine feminine end i feel like you know both are you know what spirit is saying that both need to use their emotions in order to get here you know like liberating like freeing themselves from the ones that they don't want and listening to the ones that are actually making them happy okay or saying that okay this is what i want not you know what i have been seeking perhaps in the past and um what else is happening we also have i am the master of my mind yep this is on the masculine end i told you guys there's that self mastery and uh, i accept my life exactly as it is Oh my God, there's a stack. There's a white stack. And it says, I completely surrender to my past. There are two bears. And I feel like this is the energy of the union. Oh my goodness, guys. We also have, I focus my thoughts on abundance and gratitude on the feminine's end. Yes. And I feel like she has a lot of abundance in her life. Okay, guys, I think there was some cards. Okay, this one just um, fell apart, fell on the ground and says, I am calm and safe in the midst of chaos on the masculine's end. Wow, that's crazy, guys. The white stag. Yeah, the white stag has showed up. And I believe that we just had, um, you know, the full moon in uh, Capricorn, which was the buck moon and um i feel like it's also referring to that that a cycle has been uh, completed on the masculine's end as well and it says i am the master of my mind remember i told you guys that he has been able to master himself this is exactly it and um a lot of masculines they have been meditating i feel like they've been meditating they've been trying to be calm in the middle of all of this chaos that has been going on in their life yeah it's like this right with the ten of swords but all of that is over i feel like it's a very very difficult cycle has ended on their end and um yeah i feel like both of you guys this is i completely surrendered to my past wow with the two bears could be like a spirit animal for both of you that's being showed up actually and um, it says life is a dream within a dream how beautiful i feel like this is exactly what the divine feminine feels like she's in a dream within a dream okay one okay two more we got it and it says in prayer i commune uh, with the universe and my dearest friend and it also says i bless my body with nourishing goods so i feel like both of them needed this time to focus on something on themselves so mastering a lot of things and also uh, perhaps focusing on their own health something about health is also being showed up but oh my goodness guys extremely powerful um, yeah, I feel like both of you guys are surrendering to your path towards the union. 
this is exactly the union energy because there are two bears here and the bear energy keeps showing up and i feel like it's almost like um you two are very protective of each other as well it's like you two want the best for each other um perhaps that's why you know it has been very difficult to be away from each other as well and um i think that these are the energies that um spirit is mentioning and i'm going to give you guys also a message from spirit and we are also going to continue this on the membership site too i usually have like five minutes of these readings for free on my site too so you guys are welcome to also watch that i usually put it up okay just a second Also, if you guys realize there are two, you know, there are two peacocks, uh, there are two bears. I don't know what else, but um, yeah, there's like the energy of two is coming. Okay. Okay, guys. Now, let's see what is the message that is coming from spirit. And then we are going to finish the reading. Okay. And um, we have breathe how beautiful is that and there's the energy of the moon as well and it says breathing is very sacred practice it allows you to center yourself and find your true being each breath is a way to align yourself to the cosmos and for natural knowledge to come through easily take time each day to follow your breath to reconnect with the source i follow my breath and reconnect with the divine this is so beautiful i feel like um there's something about like uh, maybe for some of you there could have been some health issues um that maybe you've been at you know spirit advices to focus on your breath especially on the divine feminine's end um let me get like more for the okay let's see what is coming and this is for the divine masculine energy and it's simplicity that is so cute that looks like a rabbit so it could be like year of rabbit for some fans it's like a zen garden simplicity in your own world will bring you peace and clear your mind you can create a serene home and uh, and surroundings start by adding small things such as plants and flowers and then declutter the space around you i clear my space and introduce simplicity so maybe for some of them it's also decluttering their life uh from emotions like unwanted emotions unwanted like people even like you know even things material things that they don't need this is what spirit advice is for them now let's get the last one. Oh my god so beautiful we have a new day and there are two bears and a house here so that's beautiful and it says take one day at a time never rush tomorrow will be a fresh start a time for new growth try not to bring yesterday's travel into today resolution will come soon after a needed rest your troubles won't seem as bad i allow things to resolve that's beautiful i feel like this is the energy that's coming for both the masculine and feminine for the 777 portal the triple seven portal that's ahead and i'm sending all of you so much love until next time